How to easily update your VMware hypervisor to ESXi 6.5. I wrote coming soon about the change that. Why? Because the bundle I need for this command, I've got all queued up and ready to go, uh, wasn't ready yet when I wrote the article, but now it is. So I put that into my clipboard. And now we're ready to proceed. Uh, what was I showing you there, though, that you just saw a second ago? Well, here. This is an old Core i7 host. It's got ESXi 6.0. And uh, update 2 on there is what build 3620759 means. I'll also point out that under configuration and under security profile, it has SSH enabled. We're going to need that for this easy upgrade install technique right there. SSH is enabled and running. All right, so what else is needed? Well, putty. So I got putty here. All right, looks like I do not have any sessions saved at all. So I'm going to put the name of that machine in, go ahead and open it up. Say yes, this machine's never connected. And we're in, we're at the command line. That's all that's needed. I'm going to make it nice and wide so you can see the whole command all in one shot, hopefully. And remember, it's already in my clipboard. So simply right click, whoops, wrong clipboard. I already replaced the clipboard. Let's try that again. Right click, copy. Right click, paste. All right, let's make that even wider. And now we're ready to let her rip and see how it goes. Assuming you don't have a firewall issue where you don't have to like open up firewall or security restrictions, it should pull straight from the depot on the web and pull that down. All right, looks like I have the wrong syntax little bit off. So let's see if the ESXi package tracker gives me a, a better clue at what I did wrong here. All right, so the file name here doesn't match. So I just need to construct a valid line here and see where I went wrong. All right, they removed the date. So that's kind of interesting. Old versions you had 2016 or the year ahead of it. I want to start all over so the screenshot looks nice and, and pretty. Probably should have saved that connection. That would have been smart. Sorry. Okay, we're going to try again. Paste in. The date is no longer there. And it's likely to work just fine. Hit enter. It's going to pull from the web. And we'll have ourselves a new ESXi host in a few minutes. So this is hands down going to be the easiest way to do a upgrade. No ISO mounting, no wizard asking questions, just a single one liner. There's a risk here. If you have special drivers for HCI or Realtek and so forth, you're going to want some read, want to read some articles out there about how to prepare. Um, so I would not be doing this in a production environment. This is a, a lab test. If this easy install goes well, great. It's a benefit to some people. But again, if you have a highly customized ESXi 6.0 update two, you'd want to be a little bit uh, aware that you may have some driver vib uh, bundles to deal with afterward. The fact that it's taking a while is a good sign. So if we go back to my article here, you'll see in the past what it looks like is something like this when it's done. So the command gets issued. Uh, here one, this this particular one, I had three lines. Firewall rule set. Well, that hasn't been needed for a while. So I'm going with a one liner to keep this video simple. We wait a little while and it'll just simply say after this long wait, the update completed successfully system needs to be rebooted. So we're at that spot now. Simply waiting. So this original article. Nice. And it just completed. 
So here's my original article saying how to go from 6.0 to update 2. Well, now we got from 6.0 update 2 all the way up to 6.5 super easily. All right, finishing up with a screenshot that shows the whole thing ideally without missing anything. That'd be cool, but it's too big. <laughs> so you can see it's kind of a monster. Um, what's next? Well, reboot, right? Now, I do have VM set to auto start that I care about. So this is no big deal to me. Naturally, you'd want to shut down VMs or go in maintenance mode is really the right way to do this. So just be careful. Also, you're supposed to update your VCSA appliance before you go to ESXi 6.5. So you should go VCSA up to VCSA version 6.5 before you update your host. This video is just about updating the host, you know, the server. Okay, so after this reboot, we should be able to log in and see that we're now at the new ESXi 6.5. So I'll resume this video in a few minutes when the machine is done rebooting. Okay, I rebooted. Give it a URL. There we go. So this is called the host client. When you point your browser to the IP address or host name of your new ESXi host, it adds the forward slash UI for you and gives you this HTML5 based web only view. So there it is. We have our build 6.50, build 4.56.4106, successful upgrade to the new version. Now, interesting that this image profile still shows that. So you can kind of see a bit of a legacy there. Uh, that's it. Have some fun in your new 6.5 home lab. And you'll see a number of articles at tinkertry.com talking about 6.5, of course, not just a simple upgrade technique. So hopefully you find some of those helpful as well. If you haven't seen a fresh install of 6.5 and you want to do that, that's not a big deal either because you can just import your old VMs. As long as you don't format your VMFS, you can just right click and re-add your VMs to inventory, the, the VMX file that you find in the data stores. So, okay. Well, thanks again for watching and for visiting tinkertry.com.